We've known each other since we were 21. Yeah, 21 which is crazy. Yeah. And yeah. now I'm 27, so it's. <laughs> Welcome to number 4417, a private event venue and a short-term rental as well. Uh, it's my wife, Osprey. I am Tom. Uh, we were retired optometrists a few years ago and we decided to do a new project uh, and we put up this building. Uh, it's three stories. It's a mixed use. This bottom floor is a speakeasy uh, that is for rent. Everything is for rent. So we're going up the stairs to the residence area. So the second level has four bedroom suites, each with their own bathroom, with a common area. So this is a lounge area, so if someone's, if guys or girls are getting ready, they want to hang out, have drinks or whatever, watch TV or whatever you want to do, that's right there. Uh, we have four suites, the Ruby Suite, the Diamond Suite, the Emerald, and the Sapphire. They're identical, uh, size-wise and uh, amenities, uh, just a different theme, color theme, and so we kind of went down that road with that. So the third floor is the living space for the second floor residential. So we have a gourmet kitchen, wet bar, uh, washer and dryer if you need that, uh, eight seater table, everything you want to hire a chef, have your staff come in, or just a bunch of guys that's cooking tomahawk steaks, we can do that too. So we have a 65 inch pop-up TV here. All automated, it goes down obviously when you need it to. We'll have a mister here, commercial mister that'll spray this down about 20 degrees in the heat. Seven person uh, jacuzzi right there, fire pit over here, more heaters there. We did some barbecuing on New Year's Eve as well. Yep. It's everything you need. And then when you want, you come right over here and when you're out here, everybody is going to start looking up at you. So you'll be instantly pretty much pretty famous when you walk back down there. They're going to want to know who you are and what business do you have up, coming up here. And it's it's pretty fun. I can imagine we maybe, always like to maybe hear. someday, someday that kids are gone. We'll have, we haven't, we were, we're just married. We didn't have anything. God, can you imagine coming bear? We ride bikes around here, go to bars and restaurants and you live down here and, and yeah. we'll circle back and we did that. 20, 20 years later. So we started our practice together. Uh, once we moved here, we worked for other people for five years and then we're like, let's just start our own thing. So we started up in Fountain Hills because that, by that time we had bought a house in Fountain Hills. Tiny little, I don't know, shoe box, 900, 900 square, square feet. feet. Little, yeah. little eye, eye clinic. Um, we're getting too detailed, but you know, when you start practice the way I, we wanted to do it. So we, we work for somebody and as, as your own business goes up higher, you kind of peel back your W2, you know. So, so then, we slowly built up the practice yeah. to five locations over the course of 20 years. And then in 2018, we sold it and officially retired. And, but it, you know, gave us tools to learn about this stuff and putting up buildings and all that kind of stuff. Cause we put up commercial buildings in the past. When I retired, um, it was a Wednesday and messing around here. And I didn't know how to really bro broach the subject because I wanted to really buy this property here. So when I pulled up, he's like, hey, how are we doing? And I go, hey, and he goes, I said, hey, Mr. Wong, when are you gonna retire? He's popped in my mind. Cause he's an old gentleman. I go, when are you gonna retire? He goes, well, I'll retire when you retire. I go, well, funny you said that, Mr. Wong. I retired about one month ago. He's like, what? And we were bantering about that. And I go, yeah, but I circle around. I go, I really like to buy this property with all due respect. He, uh, comes, he comes home and he's like in utter shock. And I'm like, what, are you okay? 
He goes, I think we just bought a building. I think we just bought this building. Uh, Mr. Wong's building. We had a couple different uh, ideas for this thing, uh, which one, we we're going to do a bar, and then none of the bar guys around him. Our neighbors did not didn't like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. And so as we were coming around, I go, you know, let's just make it. We, and we, one thing we vowed, Voss and I did, is after we sold 2020 Image Eye Centers, is we're not going to have, I love our role of employees, but no more employees. It's just going to be us two. Yeah. And that's it, you know. And we'll outsource if we ever have to outsource it. Uh, I was talking to this our architect that we hired for this property, and I go, I want to do, I want to do a private event space, this and that. Okay, he goes, well, you know, we can go up and you can just kind of mix it up. I go, oh, so I can do, we have residential and we can do commercial and we can kind of do a blend. He's like, yeah, it's totally legal there. So I'm like, perfect. So then, so then I go, great. That's our, our, our business model is we'll do, you know, short-term rental residential. Uh, and then we have corporate, uh, private event space as well. And he goes, God, everything looks the same now. They're all not, he goes, let's do something really different. I'm like, great. And so we wouldn't have any vision. We didn't really have a problem. He goes, mm -hmm. let's make it like an English manor, an English townhome. Like an English townhome. Like, like an that, urban English townhome. If you go to yeah. England, you know, the English townhomes yeah. are very proper and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so when people are walking down around the bars, they're going to go, what is that? So mm -hmm. it was a very good idea that this type of style of building. Right. Because it gets a lot of um, attention. Yeah, a lot yeah. of attention. Uh -huh. So we had architecture and city zoning and all that for probably close to a year. Yeah, one year yeah. in there. And, and then, then two years to build. So, but the end product, I could be happy. Couldn't be happier. End product. Yeah. It's perfect. We hired, we hired people that we trusted. Uh, our interior designer, our builder, our woodwork uh, guy. And there were certain parts of the design, original architecture that we decided to kind of go off on. And you were like, we don't really like this. Let's just switch it up a little and bit. If, and they were so creative because and Because they're helpful. friends of ours. Yeah. They're open enough, free enough to say, yeah. okay, love the architect, but this doesn't make sense. And yeah. this is that way. And right. it was the right vision. He goes, but we opened this all. So all the all the railing here, that was all going to be no railing. It was going to be all solid. That And that would have been closed everything in. Yeah. Now putting in the uh, wrought iron, opens everything mm -hmm. up, makes it more breathe, you know. So it was, it was really collaborative, how they really just said, you know, th this part of the plans, really, they really don't make sense. Why don't we do it this way? And this is what the finished product ended up being. And so. we're like, that sounds good, do mm -hmm. it. That sounds good, do mm -hmm. it. I mean, it's always, there's always hiccups when it comes to building, so we're like, but we knew that we wanted to do this, and it's been long enough since the last headache and that need, this headache we needed something okay. to do. Yeah. So I got, this is going to be perfect, yeah. you know. So it worked out well. Yeah. But commercial property is, I mean, this is quasi commercial property, but commercial property is non-emotional. This is very emotional for us. What is the future? Gosh, the only so I mean things are rolling as far as it is. We opened up what two yeah. weeks ago, three yeah. weeks ago for the most. But the launch party was on the fourteenth. A lot of chatter, a lot of buzz, which is great. Um, I'm meeting what's new. I'm meeting a lot of interesting people because this is for VIP people. These are for essentially high net worth individuals who love, like luxury. They like to play. Um, they like the finer things in life, but they also like the fun things in life. Uh, we developed this whole thing. And then I'm just being a lot of fun, fun, really uh, dynamic people is probably where it really is. Really dynamic people. Mm -hmm. But as far as, I mean, we've already, it's encouraging because I think people are showing a lot of interest. We're getting some bookings. Um, we're, act we're actually, uh, one of our friends booked uh, for her daughter's uh, wedding reception. Which is such a fun idea to do a wedding reception here. It's going to be, I, I think, think we've got some for, interesting for, for things. For number 4417 is this first year is going to be where we're learning curve. Mm -hmm. like, like any business, it's, it takes three years. First year is like, let's see what happens. Second year, okay. The third year, then you have a, now you have a three year cycle and right. you figure that out. Right. We want, we want this to be a focal point, really, of Old Town, too, mm -hmm. and of um, a destination spot. And we lived, we lived in Scottsdale for 30 years. I mean, we're just like kind of proud of this. Like this is something we can contribute back to the city that helped us, and you the know, city loves we us are. Yeah. Re remarkably. I would say our yeah. guests should know what they're getting into. It's not going to be like quiet and peaceful, you know, whatever, you know, 
But at the same time, they're going to have so much fun. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like going to Bourbon Street and mm-hmm. want a quiet afternoon. We have we have adult children that finally think we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be like the nerdy optometrist, but now we're like the cool parents. Yeah, yeah. So man, your that. mom and dad's place. <laughs> <laughs> So anybody who stays here at 4417 gets becomes a VIP uh, guest oh. at any of the uh, bars and restaurants that Riot, Riot House, Hospitality yeah. owns. There's a, there's a 30 minute line, you, just beep, 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 you get a special metal card that's branded with a 40, number 4417 and Riot Hospitality, and that gets you anywhere you wanna go mm-hmm. for the most part. But, um, but what's really nice, again, everyone's really just circled the wagons and supported us is, so all the promoters are coming to us and saying, whatever you need, we have your back. Um, all the uh, event, uh, event planners, event planners yeah. for all the, you know, for all the events we have here, because Scottsdale's a good hub for all that. Mm-hmm. So everyone supports each other. Mm-hmm. And one thing about Old Town is it's a bunch of, it's a, it's, it's a Mayberry with a cool attitude, I always say. I think it's wonderful. We love it here.